Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. Um, what about yeah. uh, the ATP Masters 1000, the first one after? Yeah. It's the first Masters 1000 on since Madrid, right? Since Rome, right? Rome, yes, correct. Yeah. Since uh, since Rome and it's only it's it's one week and there's a it's gonna the final's gonna be on Monday, semis on Sunday. Yeah. So because of the Olympics, um, well, but the main story here is Sinner, really, like mm -hmm. because he he had tonsillitis, he missed the Olympics. He's been at, in Canada since like Wednesday or Thursday. The expectation is that he goes pretty far, and it's kind of a more depleted field. But I think Medvedev is also someone that we really have to look out for here because. It's a very, it's pretty important for him to like win a title again. You know, it's been since Rome when he's just kind of been in been in that fourth fifth player role of for a while now, like just making a lot of deep runs, but like not really kind of you know getting his hands on another title or or big titles. So if he can do something big here and at least get to the center matchup in the semis, which I think they're I think he's actually seated third because um, they're in the same half. So. Mm. Uh, that is gonna be, that's gonna be interesting, but they're they're like the two main stories for me, like Medvedev, Medvedev and Sinner, because second seed is Zverev, um, so he's not in their half. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I mean, I think I think it's good that um, Montreal has has gotten so many. Um, well, for one, the world number one is in Canada. Um, so that's not a loss uh, because a, a few players have already withdrawn. Olympic years are a little tough. They kind of had to do what they what they had to by pushing the days a little bit further with the final on Monday. So as some players could get a little bit more time to get um, um, get here in Canada and uh, <clears throat> compete. Um, but th this is also Sinner is defending this this title. So it's not yeah. nothing. It's a thousand points. I don't know how how far he is um, from in the rankings, but um, just deciding not to come would have been tough for him. So yeah, he, if he lost a thousand points, he would be pretty close to um, to Djokovic. Uh, but yeah, he still needs to defend the, those points. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be interesting to see like what happens now that Sinner is a completely different player from what he was a year ago, exactly almost. Yeah, exactly. And in the, in the race, I mean, he had a very big lead early in the year for number one. He was 2,600 points ahead of Carlos um, coming into Rolling Garros, but then all of a sudden, Carlos does the channel slam. Sinner loses in the semis and quarters. And now there's only a 250 point difference between them for like the race for number one. So if Sinner wins this, then you'll have a bit more separation because Carlos is, is not playing yet. So. I think it's important for him to, you know, like, to to win. I mean, he's people are going to be expecting him to to ultimately defend and try to win the title again. But um, but yeah, maybe maybe like he he won't start out that strong potentially because of the tonsillitis. We'll have to see, like how hundred percent he he is, and it's been a while since he's played. But um, but honestly, like he's the best player in the in the draw. Yeah. Do you think he defends the title? I would love to see him play Medvedev again, though. That oh, yeah. is so much, so much fun. Like, just they keep going back and forth. Um, mm -hmm. Like, Medvedev wins the first six, and it wins the next five. And then Medvedev gets him in five at Wimbledon, so. Yeah. Do you think Sinner is the, the heavy favorite for the final? Do you see Medvedev maybe uh, finally winning his first title of the season? Well, it depends if he beats Sinner. Then, um, hmm. yeah, then then he'll have to feel really good about his chances. The good thing about this uh, for Medvedev is that the challenging thing for him in a major is like he has to go through like Sinner, Alcaraz, Djokovic. Like he has to go through at least two of them to win. Yeah. But here he doesn't have to worry about the other two. So if he can get by there, and then then the final like I'm not saying it's going to be simple, but at least a lot of those other players in the in the bottom half he kind of has a, a good feel on how to play them and win. Like if it is if it is Zverev, like they always play really tight matches, but Medvedev has come out the stronger in like a lot of the last thirteen meetings that they've had. So I, I would I would kind of like his chances if he gets past center, but he has to like get there first, and he also has to, you know, like center is going to make adjustments after Wimbledon, and it's it's very like tactical every time they play, and it's a better matchup for him against center than it is against the yeah, it is against Alcaraz for sure. Let's see. Yeah. 
just checking in, like, what's the uh, their head to head? Obviously, uh, uh, Medvedev was finally able it's, to uh, seven grab five another win. Yeah. seven five in favor of Medvedev. They had one yeah. beat down, which was the Miami match in the semis. Yeah, where um, Medvedev tried to play like how he did in the first two sets of Australia, but he just kind of lost what makes him really good as a player, and he wasn't. Uh, he kind of. Yeah, it was just very off that day, and Sinner was too strong. Yeah. But other than that... Also Rublev, I think also Rublev is an interesting guy right now because he's really not had a good year apart from Madrid uh, and Australian Open quarters at the beginning of the year. So he he's someone who I think badly needs some some good form right now. Who does yeah. he have potentially? He could play against Tommy Paul in the, in like the second match already. So that's... I don't know. Right now, I'd probably favor Paul in that match if that if they play. I I would say so too. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, we could see Paul versus Shapovalov as well. Like if Shapovalov beats whoever the qualifier yeah. is. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, some interesting matches coming coming along. I think Tiafo uh, Sinner could be a very interesting popcorn match too. Oh before. yeah, if we get that, that would be the third round of the quarters. Yeah, the third round. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tiafo is playing Tabilo first. That's not going to be super easy. Tabilo is having a very good year. He's yeah, 21 yeah. in the world. Um, yeah, I I hope Tiafo can keep up that momentum and just uh, get uh, go with another deep run. Like I feel like Tiafo, like when he does well in American men's tennis, like there's a lot of buzz and excitement mm -hmm. and noise. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. As I see another very interesting uh, popcorn one first round. Um, <clears throat> Rune Raunic playing the first round. Of, oh, yeah, they're playing tomorrow. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be yeah. very uh, very interesting to see like what happens in this one. Because like, I think Raunic is a very competent player. Like He knows exactly like, what oh, he needs Oh, last year, I'm thinking about it now. Raunic played Tiafo and he beat him in the first match. Yeah, and he hit he like, record number of aces. And he hit, um, it was a very, very been... dramatic match. Yeah, the, the controversial... like. Uh, this uh, the the tie break uh, the controversial yeah yeah that was in the first set I believe or the second yeah, yeah. Uh, measure the, yeah. he went on to win it yeah also Arthur Feast I'm interested to see if he can you know make a make a big run oh I'll give you another name that I'm really fascinated by this whole U S swing because it's reminding me of Brooksby in 2021 and that's Mickelson so oh, yeah. Alex Mickelson is like kind of a sleeper because he is he's like 55 in the world like he's made two newport finals back to back he is like really quick around the court he has a lot of really good variety he has a very good backhand and i think his and i think he has like a, he's kind of like brooksby but he has even more firepower and like the way he like sort of defends and it's like kind of in the medvedev mold i would say like it's mm -hmm. not it's not like quite as complete as that but it's like he's got a lot of he got a lot of tools and like the advantages is the rule book isn't really out on how to play him very well right now because he's still kind of very new and he's just constantly like been rising he was like 600 last year um at the start of the year and now he's like borderline top 50. so he's kind of and he's already beaten fritz and demon over this year so he's he's also just some guy someone that i grew up um like seeing progress in the juniors here in southern california and like my brother actually played against him like six or seven years ago and he's just come like so far since so yeah um, um i don't think he moves not nearly as well as medvedev though like i feel yeah. like he, he reminds me a bit more of like an opelka like, like with a bit better movement but... yeah but he he is like deceptively quick in the sense like mm. he'll and he'll keep the ball really low as well which is annoying for players yeah. like he'll hit his he'll keep his backhand like very very low <laughs> and it'll like barely clear the net and if he's like if he like has to sprint then like he's He's like usually pretty quick. Like he'll get to a lot of the drop shots. He'll he's just like a very awkward player. Like he'll place the ball in uncomfortable places. He has a good slice as well. Like he's just kind of very like he doesn't he doesn't have predictable patterns. So it makes it kind of interesting. He could also just get overpowered. Like that that could also that also just can happen sometimes if he's not yeah. serving well. But um but like yeah, he almost made the semis in Washington. He lost to Kaboli in a third set tiebreak. So mm. he uh yeah, I think he could. 
he could do something interesting. If he plays Sitsipas, I would be kind of interested in that match if that happens. But he plays Nishikori first, uh, with whatever but half of Nishikori's body is left, unfortunately, at this stage of his career. Just, yeah, yeah. He's getting injured. Probably going to be seeing um, his uh, retirement announcement soon. Also, mm -hmm. I just read um, on the producer that apparently <clears throat> Felix's name is misspelled. Oh, Shelton Bublik is, is a pop one. Yeah. yeah, I guess so. Shelton Bublik. Yeah. Bublik has actually beaten Shelton a couple of times. Um, it's not been an easy matchup for Ben. Felix against Kaboli, how about that? Yeah. And Felix's name apparently misspelled. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> That's a very sad occurrence. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it's because they didn't have enough um, space <laughs> to put his full name in there, which is a bad mistake in, in and of itself. But um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, I think it's uh, going to be interesting. Yeah. What are your my calls one for, uh, for this My one wish for this tournament is that we get a Cinder Medvedev semi final. Oh, yeah. I, I, I kind of wish that was a final, but I guess it's a semi final. So hopefully we could get that. I guess I also wouldn't, I'm also kind of interested in Harkoc because how has Harkoc recovered from that uh, fall? You know, he's he missed the Olympics and the doctor said that he's probably going to have to miss the rest of the year, but here he is playing. So yeah. we'll see if he's able to go on a, because like usually he, he does well this part of the year, North American Hardcore Masters. Yeah. He made the mm -hmm. final of Montreal two years ago, lost to Karenia Busta for surprise Masters 1000 winner. Yeah. A couple yeah. of years ago. So, yeah, he's 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 somebody like, if he's healthy, you know, yeah, he he, he maybe makes the semis here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, I, I, I saw his name as well. And yeah, it's interesting like, to see. I think maybe. Jo the the Djokovic and uh, Nadal and everybody else in the big three has been pushing the doctors to uh, <clears throat> lower the times of a weight that players need need to take off like when uh, when they suffer injuries like Djokovic reaching obviously the final of Wimbledon like 15 days after knee surgery or something so yeah uh, yeah he asked Taylor Fritz for advice <laughs> <laughs> and and then he's like yeah. Um, Taylor make, can make the third round after three weeks of a meniscus tear, so I'll just make the final. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. What are they going to say? Yeah, I think that's about it for like the popcorn matches and mm -hmm. and whatnot. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously we could go down the list, but like a lot of these matchups, like they just sort of have to happen, and we don't we don't really have enough information yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But all right, so I guess it's settled. yeah. I think that's about wrap, that. About wraps it up. We've hit the one hour mark. Uh, we covered pretty much all the all the main talking points. So I think we'll be back after. We'll probably do another ATP weekly next on the following Monday. Uh, we'll and then Cincinnati would have also started by then, and so we'll have two Monday finals this time around. Um, and enjoy this one because after this. They're going to go two weeks in 2025. So enjoy yeah. the last of the one week 1000s where you have popcorn matches immediately. And yeah, yeah. this is going to be a good break from the um, two week masters. Just kind of reminding ourselves like, is this the better format or is it not? So you let us know. <laughs> yeah. Let us know and we'll subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to Talking Tennis. We are at, we're probably going to hit 10K pretty soon. So we're, yeah. we're doing a lot. And also Bon, uh, John, I said Bon, but John is going to be doing the Bon Open <laughs> this week. Yeah. So Close enough. Really pretty excited about that. Um, and yeah, we've got everything covered as far as WTA, ATP. We also had a WTA weekly today with Nick. So we're at 9,500 now subscribers. So yeah. Uh, keep talking tennis. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on 
all things tennis.